It's time for the Lady Charmaine's Gospel Minute, keeping you up to date on all your favorite celebrities in the gospel music industry. From tour dates, CD releases, and all your favorite gospel television shows, it's not Hollywood gossip, it's the Gospel Minute with Lady Charmaine. My guest today comes from a family that is known for their tight harmonies and a unique sound that is legendary. She is the daughter of a musical matron and one-fourth of gospel's most beloved sibling group. Her recording career has spanned over four decades with multiple Grammy and Stellar Awards. Her writer's catalog boasts over 150 songs and gold records. She has received recognition as one of NPR Music's 50 Most Greatest Voices of All Time. And she has been inducted into the International Gospel Music Hall of Fame along with her sisters and her mother, the late Dr. Maddie Moss. Clark. Help me welcome the queen who knows how to play a mean B3 ham in Oregon and a musical legend in her own right. Please help me welcome Miss <laughs> Twinkie Clark Terrell to the show. Oh, oh thank you, Lady Charmaine. How are you? I am great, and how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. I want to thank you again so much for calling in on the show, and I want to say congratulations on your new project entitled Humility. Congratulations. You're welcome. Thank you. I, I haven't done anything solo in about three years, so i um, excited that this is coming out or that it's out there, and I hope that uh, it will bless the people. Now, I know on this project you work with your nephew, Larry Clark. Tell us, how did you both come to work together, and what role did he play in your project? Well, Larry, Larry has always kind of followed us and, and what we do when he was younger, and uh, we began talking about him um, doing some producing, and uh, he's always wanted to do studio work. So he said, Auntie, if you let me, I would like to work on something with you. So it was his idea that I uh, put out this CD. Uh, we have a special treat on there, a, a tribute to my parents, and it just basically uh, talks about um, things coming up when we were younger and reflections on how we all got started in the uh, ministry of music. Now, how did you come up with the name Humility for your project? Where did that derive from? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to say that was Larry's idea. <laughs> it's because you have he a humble thought, spirit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he, he feels that I'm humble for, you know, what God has done in our lives. And as far as um, our name um, being out there and, uh, and the Lord taking us where he has, as far as he has taken us and the achievements and the great things that God has done for me to still take out time and, and uh, just put God first and remember from whence we came is human, is humble. Well, that's beautiful. And you also have uh, two tracks on your album entitled God's Got a Blessing and Awesome God. What was the inspiration behind these two tracks? Well, God's Got a Blessing is sort of a churchy, fast choir song uh, that can be sung in the average Sunday morning service. And back in the day, my mom, the late Dr. Manny Moss Clark, used to do a lot of fast songs with choirs, and that's where we got all that from. So I said, why not put something fast out there? Also, my sister Dorinda likes to do uh, hand clapping, fast dancing songs, and uh, that's what we came up with. We, we wanted to do a choir song that, that was fast. And your song, Awesome God, that's featuring your nephew. Tell me about that song. Uh, that that's a very very popular song. I'm sure everyone has heard and mm -hmm. has sang, but he did uh, an arrangement of it where we do a duet, and um, it has kind of like a slow style worship mm -hmm. to it. Okay, now you have a song on your project called "The Righteous," featuring the Clark brothers. Now, are these your your natural brothers, or they're are they cousins and they're also with the same last name? Yeah, uh, my sister Denise. These these are her sons. <clears throat> They're all natural brothers, and uh, a few years ago they were working on something and um, kind of kept it in on on the back burner and never did anything with it. So uh, Larry asked me to come and put a lead on it, and uh, we decided to just add it to this uh, CD. Oh, that's nice. So they get to sing with their auntie. <laughs> what a blessing! Yeah. <laughs> now, Tuki, yeah, what? they they Go. make me feel. They make me feel old, but they, they still remember Auntie. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Now, how many girls are there? Is it just four girls, four sisters? There are five. There are five sisters, 
uh, and Denise is uh, not with us, but she has her own ministry and is still uh, singing and uh, doing outreach ministry. Praise God. Okay, now we're going to go back just a little bit because you had a song, you brought the sunshine, which was groundbreaking. Now, did you Praise know that God. the song was going to have such a big impact on not only just the gospel industry, but the secular world too? Because even secular radio was playing it. Um, That's right. Did you yeah, imagine we never that? thought that would happen. Never thought that that happened. Um, what happened is uh, the announcer in New York, the name Frankie Crocker, had uh, gotten a uh, hold to it from hearing it uh, being played in the club. And some of the um, club owners or the DJs that would play music in the club uh, were talking to Frankie about it, and they passed it on to him. It got in his hands, and he started playing it in New York. And from there, it just got played all over the place. We got a lot of uh, criticism for it from the church because people were dancing, but at the same time, a lot of people were saved and, and were really touched by it. Sorry, that was my cell phone. <laughs> oh, okay. I apologize. Yeah, I'll turn it off. <laughs> I, I am doing it right now. <laughs> Look live on the air. Ain't that something? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> but I am. Um, yeah, because when I first heard the song, I actually heard the song on a secular radio station. And I'm like, that sounds yeah. like a Christian song. And I was going to ask okay. you about how did the church community uh, react to the song? Because I thought it was great. The beat was great. And I wasn't a Christian at the time. And it was my family. But it brought the sunshine where the light of God into our lives. And I think that's what God wanted to do was to draw people such as my Myself and those who didn't know him and he just used Thank this a wise Jesus. way because I believe like the scripture says he that winneth souls is wise that's right praise God for sharing that testimony and I'm glad that you did hear it and I hope that it did make a difference in your life when you did hear that song even though you weren't a Christian but uh, yeah some people didn't like it because they felt they were dancing off of it and that if we're gospel singers how can uh, we do music that people are going to dance off of but the message in it was strong, you know, that Jesus brought the sunshine. And um, a lot of people uh, began changing their lives, <clears throat> and uh, the testimony started coming in where people um, who had never known the Lord began giving themselves to God. So, you know, it, it really touched a lot of people, even though we were criticized for it. And see, and I, and I play it on my flashback Fridays because I still love the song and I still play Endow Me. <laughs> oh, good. Now, you good. know, y'all have some hits. I mean, you cannot have a flashback Friday with none of the Clark sisters. That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for remembering us. We're still out here trying to carry on. And um, the, the more you play us, the more it keeps us out here and gives us the strength to just keep going with it. Now, Twinkie, if you were to leave a legacy, what would you want your legacy to be? <laughs> <laughs> well, I I would like to be known to be, as they call me, the queen of the Hammond B3 organ. I, I would like to continue that and, and to inspire other young musicians coming up and I hope that, you know, they can just keep that going. Uh, especially for female musicians. You don't find too many female organists mm -hmm. around, but there are a lot of them coming up today. And also, um, also I, would, I would like to be known as an evangelist to uh, be able to carry the word, <clears throat> not only in song, but preach to people and, and win souls and, that, and, and just see people get healed and, and delivered. Amen. Now, in this industry, who did you admire? I well, one of my favorites is uh, the renowned uh, Thomas Whitfield. He's he's uh, deceased as well, but he was one of my favorite musicians, along with so many others in this area: the Winans family, the Hawkins family, Andre Crouch, Rance Allen, um, and uh, of course Stevie Wonder and Aretha Franklin are some of my favorites. And now growing up, who did you look up to? Was there any individual that you looked up to growing up? The Hawkins family and Andre Krauss, they, they kind of, uh, when I was coming up, their music was uh, really strong <clears throat> uh, back in that era, during that era. They, they were really, really uh, big out there. And that's what I used to listen to a lot at, uh, besides Thomas Whitfield. So. Now, 
for um, if there's a family or a young lady that's looking to break into this industry, what advice would you give them? Uh, that want to get into the music industry? Yes, ma'am. I would, I would advise them to, first of all, become a member of somebody's church and get in there and go to Bible study, um, learn the things of God and get involved in the ministry and the work and be faithful to your home church first. And the things that you know you desire to do um, with your uh, your life and your career, uh, as far as the direction you want to go in, that God will He will co- connect you with people and cause the doors to open for you if you remain faithful. Amen. Now, Miss Clark, if somebody wanted to um, find you, find out more about you, if you're going on tour, do you have a website or a Facebook or a MySpace or Twitter? Yes. <laughs> Yes, we do. Uh huh. It's called Arrow, ArrowheadGospel.com. They can find any of my information. Uh, we also have a video on there that Larry and I did up Awesome God. And anything that's coming up, my dates or uh, anything that I'm working on, they can find it on that. ArrowheadGospel.com. Now, can someone, uh, where can they go and find your music? Can they download it on iTunes or Reverb Nation? Yes, yes they can. Okay. Well, I just want to thank you so much, Ms. Clark, for joining us today. And I just, I wish you the best. I know God is going to bless you because I'm in over 150 songs in your catalog, plus gold thank records. You, we see God doing the same thing with this project, too. And again, thank you so much. And everybody here is You're God's welcome. got a blessing with Ms. Twinkie Clark on Praise 98 FM Jams. Thank you.